you know, was just saw something and kind of predetermined what I thought was going to happen and made a, made a bad play. So I certainly had to play a lot better. And uh, turning the ball over against a good team never helps. Uh, you know, we just uh, didn't play the way we're capable of playing. Everyone's got to do a lot better, and it starts with me. And uh, get back to work tomorrow morning and try to try to uh, make it a better week. Next question will come from Greg Almond. Tom, to, to have this loss be as lopsided and as dominating as it was tonight, what can you do to get the confidence back for this team in, in short order with Carolina up next? Well, I think it's about playing better and execution, and you know we all have to do our job a lot better. So. When you play good teams, there's little margin error. They've been a great team for a long time. They got a lot of good players, and um, you know if we're going to beat them, we've got to play a lot better than we played tonight. Next question will come from Jenny. Hey Tom, throughout your career, you've had a ton of success in prime time games. What is it about this team? You think I don't know if you can put your finger on it as to why in, in three prime time contests you guys just haven't performed at the level that you have in, in some of your other contests? Yeah, we need to perform better, you know, at every time. 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock, Monday night, Sunday night. It doesn't matter, you know. They're going to schedule a game, and we're going to go out there and play. I don't think it's anything magical that's happening. Um, you know, as players, you know, we got to prepare harder. we got to execute better. Um, you know, there's no excuses for what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a poor performance by, you know, a team that's, um, got a lot ahead of it, so hopefully we can learn from it, come back to uh, work this week with a lot more urgency, um, execute a lot better, and try to go out and beat a, beat a good football team. Uh, next we'll go to John Arano. Tom, you've been on a lot of great teams in the past. Do great teams ever have performances this poor? You know, I, you definitely, you, you know, when things don't go your way, you know, sometimes they just, they keep going that way, and you got to figure out how to stop it and then turn it around. And we had our opportunities, and we just didn't do it. So we got to learn from it, and um, you know, hopefully we can learn from it and be better next week. So it's not about predicting the future. You know, I'm not here to say this is what we're going to do based on losing a game. We're we're going to get back to work and try to do a lot better next week. And we got to win one game, and you know, we're six and three. You know, I wish we were a lot better than that, but this is where, this is where we're at, and we got to go on the road and beat a good football team. We have time for a couple more. We'll go to Sarah Walsh. Tom, I know Bruce has talked about several times wanting a faster start, and obviously that didn't happen again tonight. Is there anything you can pinpoint to why it, it seemed difficult to get these sort of jumps that you guys want to get to kickstart these games? Just got to execute better. We got to figure it out. You know, I, those are all good questions. I just I wish I had the precise answer for you because we'd be doing it. And uh, there's no magic play. There's no magic. Anything you should go out and do your job much, much higher at a much higher level. Last question will come from Greg Allman. Sorry, Tom. Was there anything you saw in practice this week that would suggest this is the kind of game you might have? Did it seem like a normal week in, in getting ready for this? You know, we just we didn't play well in any phase of the game, and and we got to start better on offense and help our defense out. That's that's how I see it. So, All right, appreciate thanks, it, guys. Thank you. Sure. Okay, we'll get started. First question will come from Rick Sharp. Bruce, with everything that was at stake in this game, just just how surprising, shocking was it for you guys to play that way? It was shocking to know, just watch this practice, the way we practiced all week, the confidence we had coming in. Uh, yeah, I, we have to go back and look in the mirror, coaches, players, everybody just – from yesterday to today, and you know, another where we go three and out and then give up a touchdown. Um, second half, I thought we we got to turn over and we don't score a touchdown. I thought that kind of was the end of it right then and there. And uh, but I mean, I have to give New Orleans credit; they they kicked our ass in every phase. Brady has had five interceptions out of his seven against the Saints. Is there anything they do in particular? Is it the pressure they're putting on? And the pressure helps, you know. But when you when you're when you're down 28, you're not running the ball. The, the pressure's coming, and uh, so yeah, I mean, there's still no excuse for interceptions. But you know, he was getting hit, and uh, there were there were. It's, not, it's definitely not on him. Next question will come from Jenna Lane. 
Hey, Coach, for whatever reason, in primetime games this year, um, this offense has struggled to find uh, a rhythm and, and hasn't been able to uh, equal its scoring power that it has in its other games. What do you think the reason for that might be? That's one of the things we have to look at because that's what we just addressed in the locker room. And um, it, it it's we have stunk in those games. Now, we won one of them, but should have won the other one, but we didn't. And this one, we just basically handed it to them. What was the mood and the attitude like in the locker room when you addressed your team? Oh, everybody's pissed off, but uh, too late now. we got to get ready for Carolina. Next question comes from Greg Allman. There's, there's such a, a slim margin for error right now, going from a division lead to being on the brink of not making the playoffs. How, how important is it that this not carry over to next week? They can't carry over to Wednesday. I mean, it has to be gone by Monday and um, hit the practice field ready for Carolina. Thanks, Bruce. Mm -hmm. Next question will come from John Romano. Bruce, obviously New Orleans is a good team, but is it concerning to you that your worst games of the season have been against good teams that you've sort of fattened the record up against some lesser opponents? Yeah, I, th I think that's, that's how you're usually judged. You know, um, we were pretty good against Green Bay and we're really poor against New Orleans. Next question will come from Scott Reynolds. Bruce, what was the line of thinking and keeping Tom Brady in the game? so late when it was completely out of reach and allowing your 43-year-old quarterback to get hit repeatedly? Just get points on the board. He's the quarterback. And earlier this season, you said that uh, you had to do a better job, or Byron had to do a better job, of getting Mike Evans 10 targets a game. He finished with six, but was only targeted once in the first half. What's happening with Tom not getting the ball to your Pro Bowl wide?